हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर इकोनॉमिक्स कोच प्रतीक भसीन बैक विथ चैप्टर एट ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक्स फॉर क्लास इलेवन सो वी वर स्टार्टिंग इंडेक्स नंबर्स इन आर प्रीवियस क्लास वी आर डिस्कस्ड टू मेथड्स नाउ इन टूडेज क्लास वील बी डिस्कसिंग टू मोर मेथड्स टू कैलकुलेट इंडेक्स नंबर्स सो इन टूडेज क्लास वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वेटेड एग्रीगेटिव मेथड एंड वेटेड एवरेज ऑफ प्राइज रिलेटिव मेथड so when we discuss weighted aggregate method we discuss about three formulas first one being the laspers formula which has both price and quantity index similarly we also discuss about pashes formulas which also has price and quantity index under this we also discuss about the fishes method which is considered to be an ideal method this also has both price and quantity index then we'll be discussing about the weighted average of price relative method so let's move on to the questions for these method so now first of all i'll be discussing about the laspers pashis and fishers method so on your screen we have the question where we have three commodities a b and c and their prices and quantities in 2010 and their prices and quantities in 2020 now let's call the prices in 2010 as p0 similarly the quantities in 2010 as q0 then prices in 2020 as p1 and quantities in 2020 as q1 so now let's write all these values separately so we have goods a b and c then we have p0 that means the prices of the base year as 10 20 and 30 then we have the quantities of base year as 10 let's write the prices and quantities of the current year so we have the prices of current year as 15 25 and 35 and quantities of current year are same that is 10 each now let's calculate the value of p0 q0 so this is price of base year multiplied with the quantity of base year so we have 100 200 and 300 now let's calculate the values of p0 q1 this means prices of the base year multiplied with the quantities of the current year so we have 10 multiplied by 10 which is 100 20 into 10 which is 200 and then 30 into 10 which is 300 now let's calculate the values of p1 q1 so we have 150 250 and then 35 into 10 that is 350 let's calculate the values of p1 q0 so we have 15 into 10 which is 150 25 into 10 which is 250 and 35 into 10 which is 350 so let's obtain the total of all these values so we get the total of p0 q0 as 600 the total of p0 q1 as 600 the total of p1 q1 as 750 similarly the total of p1 q0 as 750 now let's calculate the index number using the laspers formula so using laspers formula we use the formula p01 equal to sigma p1 q0 upon sigma p0 q0 multiplied with 100 so let's input the values so we have p1 q0 as 750 p0 q0 as 600 multiplied with 100 so when i calculate these values i get 125 because this is 25 above 100 this means that prices have increased by 25% so i'll be writing that prices have increased by 
25% because it is 25 above 100. Then we have Pashi's formula. So, according to Pashi's method, the formula to calculate price index is sigma P1 Q1 upon sigma P0 Q1 into 100. So, let us calculate the values. So, we have P1 Q1 as 750, P0 Q0 as 600, but we have to use P0 Q1. So, the value for that is also 600 multiplied with 100 equal to 125, the same conclusion that prices have increased by 25 percent. Now, let us use Fisher's method. According to Fisher's method, it is actually the square root of sigma P1 Q0 into sigma P0 Q0 multiplied with sigma P1 Q1 into sigma P0 Q1 multiplied by 100, this 100 does not have the square root. So, now let us move on to our next method which is Fisher's method. So, according to Fisher's method, the formula is square root of sigma P1 Q0 upon sigma P0 Q0 multiplied with sigma P1 Q1 upon sigma P0 Q1 multiplied with 100 and this is not in the square root or we can also write it as the square root of last pairs and Pashis because the answer obtained by last pairs was 125 and Pashis was also 125, the answer by Fisher's method will also be 125. So, Fisher's method is actually considered an ideal method to calculate the index number. So, this is the most ideal method. Let us move on to our next question where we have to calculate the price index again. So, we have three commodities that is A, B and C. Their prices in 2005 are assumed to be the prices of the base year. So, we have 50, 40 and 30. The quantities of base year are 20, 30 and 40. So, I am assuming the quantities of the base year and this as the price of the current year. So, now we have P1 and Q1. So, P1 is 60, 20 and 30 and Q1 is 40, 50 and 60. So, now let us calculate the values of P0, Q0. This means price and quantity is multiplied of the base year. So, we have 50 into 20, 1000, 40 into 30, 1200 and 30 into 40, 1200 again. So, the total will be 3400. Now, let us calculate P0, Q1. So, P0, Q1 will be 50 into 40 that is 2000, 40 into 50, 2000 again and 30 into 60 that will be 1800. This will give me an answer of 5800. Let us calculate the values of P1, Q1. So, we have 16 to 40 that is 2400, 20 into 50 that is 1000 and 30 into 60 that will be 1800. So, the total to this will be 5200. Now, let us calculate the total for P1, Q0. So, we have P1 and Q0. So, this will be 1200, 600 and 1200 again. So, the total to this will be 3000. So, now let us calculate the index number using last space formula. So, by using last space formula, the formula for price index will be sigma P1 Q0 upon sigma P0 Q0 multiplied with 100. So, we have P1 Q0 as 3000, P0 Q0 as 3400 multiplied with 100. This will give us an answer of 88.23. Now, because 
this is less than 100, this means that the prices have fallen and the prices have fallen by 11.77%. So, there is a reduction of prices by 11.77%. Moving on to our next method is Parshish method which says that P01 is calculated by sigma P1 Q1 upon sigma P0 Q1 multiplied with 100. So, we have sigma P1 Q1 as 5200, sigma P0 Q1 as 5800 multiplied with 100. So, the answer to this will be 89.65. This means that prices have again fallen by 10.35 percent. Let us calculate the answer through Fisher's method. So, the answer according to Fisher's method will be P01, this will be the square root of the answers obtained by last pairs and Pashi's method. So, this will be 88.23 into 89.65 the whole square root and the final answer will be 88.93. This also shows that prices have fallen. Now, let us move on to our next type of questions which calculates the quantity index by last pairs, Pashis and Fisher's method. So, let us calculate the quantity index. So, we have goods as A, B and C. Now, we have price in 2010, quantity in 2010, similarly prices in 2020 and quantity in 2020. Taking 2010 as the base year, let us write the prices of the base year which are 10 each. Quantities of the base year are 10, 15 and 20. Let us write the prices and quantities of the current year which is 15, 25 and 35 and quantities are 20, 25 and 30. So, let us first calculate the value of P0 and Q0. So, this is P0 into Q0 that is 100, 150 and 200. So, the total to this will be 450. Let us calculate the value of P0 Q1. So, P0 Q1 will be 10 multiplied with 15 which will be 150. Then we have 10 multiplied with 25 which will be 250. Then 10 multiplied with 35 which will be 350. So, the total to this question will be 350 plus 150 which will be 500 and 500 plus 250 this will be 750. Now, let us calculate the value of P1 Q0. So, this will be 10 into 15, 150, 25 into 15, 375 and 35 into 20 which will be 700. So, the total to this will be 1225. Finally, let us calculate the value of P1 and Q1. So, we have 15 into 20 giving us 300, 25 into 25, 625 and 35 into 30 which will be 1050. So, the total to this will be 1975. Now, let us calculate the quantity index by the last pairs formula. So, to calculate the quantity index, we use the formula sigma q1 p0 upon sigma q0 p0 into 100. So, q1 p0 or p0 q1 are one and the same thing. So, we have q1 p0 as 750 upon P0 Q0 as 450 multiplied with 100. So, this will give us an answer of 166.66. This means that the quantities have increased by 66.66 percent. Now, let us calculate the quantity index using Pashi's formula. So, according to Pashi's formula, we use sigma Q1 P1 upon sigma Q0 P1 multiplied with 100. 
So, the value of q 1 p 1 will be 1975, the value to q 0 p 1 will be 1225 and this will be multiplied by 100. This will give me an answer of 161.22 percent. So, this means that the quantities have increased by 61.22 percent according to Pashi's method. Moving on to the next method which is the Fisher's method. So, for obtaining the answer through Fisher's method, we simply take the square root of Laspers and Pashi's. So, we have 166.66 multiplied with 161.22. This will give us an answer of 163.91. So, according to Fisher's method, which is the ideal method, it exclaims that the quantities have increased by 63.91 percent. Now, let us again calculate quantity index by Laspers, Pashis and Fisher's method. So, we have goods as A, B and C. So, taking 2011 to be the base year and 2018 to be the current year. So, we have the prices of the base year as 100, 200 and 300 quantities of the base here as 7, 6 and 5. Similarly, we have the prices of the current year as 200, 300 and 400. Quantities of the current year as 10, 5 and 8. Now, let us calculate P0, Q0. So, this will be 700, 1200 and 1500. By obtaining the total, I get a value of 3400. Now, let us calculate the value of P1, Q0. So, P1, Q0 is obtained by multiplying P1 with Q0. So, this will be 1400, 300 into 6 which will be 1800 and 400 into 5 which will be 2000. So, the total to this will be 5000 and 200. Now, let us calculate the value of P0 Q1. So, P0 Q1 will be obtained by multiplying prices of the base here with the quantities of current year. So, we have 1000, 1000 and 2400. So, the total will be 4400. Now, let us calculate the value of P1 Q1. So, we have 200 into 10 which will be 2000, 300 into 5 which will be 1500 and 400 into 8 which will be 3200. So, the total to this will be 6700. Now, let us calculate the quantity index by Laspers formula. So, the Laspers formula says that you can obtain the quantity index by sigma q1 p0 upon sigma q0 p0 multiplied with 100. So, this will be 4400 divided by 3400 multiplied with 100. So, this will give me an answer of 129.41. This says that the quantities have increased by 29.41 percent. Let us calculate the quantity index by Pashi's formula. So, we have q01 as sigma q1 p1 upon sigma q0 p1 multiplied with 100. So, we have q1 p1 as 6700 divided by sigma q0 p1 as 5200 into 100 which will give me an answer of 128.84 percent. So, according to Pashi's method quantities have increased by 28.84 percent. Now, let us move on to our next method which is Fisher's method. So, we have Fisher's method as the square root of the answers obtained by Laspers and Pashi's formula multiplying them with each other. So, we have square root of 129.41 multiplied with 128.84. So, the final answer to this question will be 129.12. So, according to Fisher's method, quantities have increased by 29.12 percent. Now, let us move on to our next method which is weighted average of price relatives method. So, under this we will be first calculating the price relative. 
So, let us start with the question. So, we have commodities, three commodities in place which is sugar, dal and oil. We have the prices of base here, we will call it as P0. So, we have 10, 8 and 6. Then we have the prices of current here which is 12, 10 and 9. We also have the quantities of the base here which is 10, 20 and 30. So, now let us first calculate the R. R is the price relative. So, we have P1 by P0 into 100. So, P1 by P0 that will be 12 upon 10 into 100. So, this will give us an answer of 120. Then we have 10 by 8 into 100. This will give me an answer of 125. Then we have 9 by 6 into 100 and this will give me an answer of 150. Now, let us calculate the value to P0, Q0. This is called as V. V means the value in the base here. So, we have P0, Q0, 100, P0, Q0, 160 and P0, Q0 as 180. So, the total to this will be 180 plus 100 and plus 160 which is 440. Now, let us calculate RV that is the multiplication of the values on the base here and the price relative. So, we get the first value as 1, 2, triple 0 that is 12,000. Then the next value is 20,000 and the last value will be 27,000. So, the total to this will be 59,000. Now, we have to obtain the price index according to this method. So, we use the formula sigma RV upon sigma V. So, we get the value as 59,000 divided by 440. So, the answer to this question will be 134.09. So, this explains that the prices have increased by 34.09 percent. So, prices have increased by 34.09 percent. Now, let us move on to the next question. So, we have this question to calculate the price index using the weighted average of price relatives method. So, we have three goods in place which is A, B and C. So, we have the prices in the base here, prices in the current year and the quantity of the base year. So, this is the quantity in 2010. So, prices of the base year which will be 20, 30 and 40. Prices in the current year which is 15, 20 and 50 and the quantities in the base year which is 1, 2 and 3. So, let us first calculate the price relative which is obtained by using the formula P1 by P0 into 100. So, this is 15 by 20 into 100. So, we have 75. Then we have 20 by 30, the price of the current year upon the price of the base year into 100. Then we have 50 upon 40 into 100. So, this will be 125. Now, let us calculate the value of P0, Q0. So, we have 20, 60 and 120. So, the total to this will be 200. Now, we also have to calculate, this will be regarded as V. So, we have to calculate RV, that is the multiplication of the price relative with the value. So, we have 75 into 20, which will be 1500, 66.67 into 60, which will be 4000.2. Then, we have 125 into 120, which will be equal to 15000. So, the total to this will be 20500.2. Now, let us calculate the price index through this method which will be sigma RV upon sigma V which is equal to 20500.2 divided by 200. So, my final answer to this question will be 
102.501 or 102.50 this means that prices have increased by 2.5 percent. So, we have prices have increased by 2.5 percent according to this method. So, I hope you were able to get through these methods. I request you to please practice these questions from your textbook. So, I will see you in your next class. Till then, bye bye and take care.